Cody, let's start here. Um, you got a young goalie, a rookie goalie, and that and just goes toe to toe with the Vezina Trophy winner. Give me your thoughts on on Stewart's play. Yeah, I thought he played awesome for us tonight, and every other game that he's played for us so far this season. Um, we played a little loose in front of him in other games, and uh, he uh, he shut the doors and playing well all season. But tonight we played a little a little tighter for him, and he got the win. So I'm happy for him. And uh, Kyle, uh, two for two for you in the in the shootouts is. As big goals, you talked earlier how it's, you know, regardless of how you contribute, it feels good to contribute like that. Tell me what you're thinking on that move, what you saw. Um, I, I saw, well, I, I watched um, Leon and Connor come in, and, and when Connor went wide, uh, the blocker side opened up for him. And um, I thought if I could go wide and cut across and kind of bring it to my forehand, hopefully he'd, he'd kind of stay on the near post and I could beat him to the far side. Hey, Cody, over here. Left side. Yeah, when you get a sense that you have a young goalie who's got it going on like that, what does it do just to, to the mood of the team and atmosphere on the bench when you see a guy in a groove like that? Yeah, I thought we battled hard for him tonight. Um, no matter who was in nets, we, uh, we as a group talked about playing a little tighter, coming out a little stronger to begin the game. So, um, yeah, I thought we did a, a good job of that tonight in front of him, and he made some big saves. So uh, I'm happy for him. He played great. This is a Winnipeg team that had given you guys some problems. I know you, you weren't here last year for it, but uh, they, they had your number for a bit. More than maybe two points, just the fact that you got over on this team, does that uh, have a, a nice psychological impact? Yeah, I thought our, our response was really good. It was nice that we got to play them again so soon. Um, that one stung a bit in, uh, in Winnipeg going down four. So uh, I thought we did a great job responding, and it, and it uh, says a lot about our team. Cody, what's in overtime four on three? That's a lot more difficult to, to defend than a five on four, I presume. What's it like as a defenseman? Yeah, it is. I mean, uh, you got to be prepared to give up some some one timers a little bit and just battle in front of the net. Um, Stewie made some big saves for us, and uh, we were uh, we really wanted that game for him. So um, yeah, we battled hard. We got through the the four minute penalty. Kyle, uh, this is the second shootout where you came out with the winner. You said you take a lot of pride in the shootout. You do your homework, and it comes through once again. What's it mean to you to have that vote of confidence from your head coach to go in a pivotal moment? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, I mean, like the earlier question, I just try to chip in where I can and contribute, and everybody has a role on the team, and I'm just trying to help out. So, yeah, to, to have the vote of confidence to, to shoot third tonight and – um, I, like you said, I, I work with Schwartzy, the goalie coach, and we talk about shootouts often and work on them quite a bit and watch video before every game. So something I'm definitely taking serious and, and take pride in. Uh, Cody, I talked to you during the road trip about adversity uh, in Boston. Uh, you guys were coming off a 2-3 and three road trip. What do you think a big home win like this can do for your club? I think it just gets us back on track. Um, it was a long trip. It was a tough trip with a back-to-back -back in the middle, a lot of travel. Um, so just coming home, I think everyone was excited to be back, and uh, we, we tightened it back up tonight. Kyle, you're an offensive player. Does you ever talk to your goalie who's a rookie in the league and say, okay, these are, these are what the big shooters on the Jets like to do, Shifley, Connor? Do you ever say to them, this is their move? No, I, I mean, they, they do their own pre-scout on, on the other team's shooters for shootouts, so I kind of leave that to, to him. But um, I, this summer, Stu was here all summer, and, and I was here all summer, and we, we worked a lot on shootouts together. Um, I Like C said, he's been playing phenomenal, and uh, uh, he did real well tonight, so it was, it was a lot of fun to see him get the win in the shootout. Cody, for you, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, an assist is, is just as important as a goal. Can you talk about uh, what a great assist that was on, on that average goal by McDavid? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of, we just kind of went D to D up to the middle and he did the rest, but he's a phenomenal player. He can take over a game when he has to. He scores those big goals and finds a way through, uh, through the other team. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's fun to get a chance to play with a guy with that, that much talent. I just kind of want uh, Kyle over here. Just wanted to kind of piggyback off that question as a you know guy, you know former high draft pick, an offensive guy. What did you think of, of Connor's goal, and how did it maybe compare to the the one he scored against the Rangers a couple weeks ago? Is it, yeah, it's surreal, right? Like you don't it's the NHL. Everybody's a good player. I mean, you don't see that happen where uh, he's just he's so fast and and so 
quick at his movements, and I mean, for him to to pull things off like that in, in key clutch times, it's I mean, that's what makes him the best best in the world. So it's it's a lot of fun to watch, and and you know, it's always a possibility. So you're I mean, you're surprised, but you're also not surprised because we see it every day at practice too. You kind of alluded to it. I was going to ask um, just because both of those goals tied the game, so these aren't you know empty calorie goals there at, at important times. What does it take for a player to kind of have the gall to, to, to try that at a very important time point in the game? Yeah, just, I mean, it's, he, he just, he, he has a sense for when, when he can do it and when not to do it, you know, and I, I think that's something that kind of as you mature uh, as a player and, and uh, kind of grow, you, you figure out those times when to do it and when not, and I mean, both those times, it was, you know, he was the only one in that position on the ice. He had kind of, he was in the middle of the ice and, and picking up speed, and, and the other team was kind of coming at him. And it was, it was a situation where we had guys back, and, and he, could, he could wheel and deal. So it was, it was, I mean, the rest is magic. Sorry, one more, Cody. Uh, you're a veteran NHL defenseman. You played against Connor McDavid in the past. What can you talk? Sorry, say about his willingness to challenge defenders and really bring, like, close the coverage himself uh, in order to challenge those defenders. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely one of a kind. His speed is uh, is unmatched, so it kind of puts you on your heels, and um, you almost have to play off him a little bit. If you get too tight, he can he can dance dance you, get get through your stick, and, and before you know it, he's around you. So. Uh, yeah, I haven't really seen seen much like it. One on one, he's his percentage must be pretty high of getting by guys, and that's uh, that's pretty crazy to say.